Hey guys, so uh, I'm just about to uh, download Jelly Bam. Here, I'll just show you actually. Jelly Bam 5.2 for the N7000. So if you want to also grab this, I'm going to be going through the whole process of the install and all that stuff. So um, you can grab this at XDA Developers. That's where it's at. Just search it there. Under uh, they have, I do believe they have it also for the Note 2 and also the uh, N7000 GT. Um, so here we go, I'm just gonna start the download. Okay, so now it's starting right now. And it's only about 300 some megs or something, oh maybe, okay. Yeah, I don't know how big it is actually, but uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, I'm just gonna pause it and then come back when it's uh, ready to go. Okay, so, so far we're about uh, 20, well, almost 30%. Okay, so we're getting there. It's around 52, or 62%. Uh, we'll be back. Alright, let's check our progress here. Oh, 94%. We're getting there. Almost there. Okay, so we're at 100% complete. Download complete. As you can see that focus focus okay so now that that's done what I usually do after that is uh, just go and check make sure it's actually there use my file browser go back back and that's on my internal SD card go to the downloads and Oh, you know what? Because I had the browser set. I had the browser browser set it to uh, download automatically to my external, so it should be in here. Hmm. Okay. Now I got to look for it. One second. All right, I'm back. I finally found that that ROM. Um, by default, I usually have it set so that it goes to. Uh, my internal SD card but because I'm using a new browser the boat browser it was in the downloads so I moved it from there back to the inter back to the internal uh, to my internal card so now when I go to the internal card and go to the downloads um, there it is jelly bam so now what I usually do is uh, Clear out all the memory, clear the apps out, and then I'll boot into recovery. Uh, restart, recovery, okay. So I'll just let it reboot into recovery. Okay, so we're finally booting into recovery. Okay, so usually the first thing I'll do is. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Backup or in the store. So we'll go there, enter, and, and it's set for backup up top. We're gonna click enter, and we're just gonna let it back up so just in case anything messes up. Okay, so now it's backing up the system. This process usually takes five to five to ten minutes, depending on how much junk or crap or apps you have installed. You know, blah blah blah. So um, I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so now it's backing up the data, so that's good. We're uh, hopefully almost done. Okay, so now it's uh, generating MD5 sum. That's usually the last stages, so uh, we're almost done. Okay, so backup's done. So now let's uh, go back. And now we're going to install the, uh, the ROM now, since the backup is done, so... We are going to go wipe data factor reset and go delete all. <clears throat> now, this, and this is the usual routine that I do for every new ROM. Um, do the cache partition. <clears throat> okay. And I'll go to mounts and storage, or actually advance. And wipe the Delvic. Go 
go back and then we'll go to uh, mounts and storage and format system okay so after this we'll install the ROM and go back so now we're going to go install zip and install zip from internal SD card and uh, let's look for okay one second okay so we're going to in install from the internal SD card and it's going to be in the downloads folder download okay so here it is up top so we're going to go to jelly bam 5.2 and 7000 stable zip we're going to go enter and yes to install and away it goes now from my understanding every time you install a new ROM it comes with its own uh, <clears throat> its own uh, kernel and it comes with its own um, clockwork mod so alright we're gonna come back when this is done okay so that didn't take very long at all it took like maybe three three minutes so it says down here install from SD card complete so now we're just gonna go back and we're gonna reboot system now and <clears throat> it should be the brand new Jelly Bam don't know how long this takes uh, the whole booting up getting to your actual first page sometimes it takes a long time depending on what needs to be installed in the process uh, as a final install from the from the ROM but uh, okay so there's their boot animation looks pretty cool jelly bam so that's pretty cool and I'm just gonna pause and we'll come back okay so so far it's been about a couple minutes so we uh, will definitely come back to this okay so we're finally back um, so we're gonna s stick with that set the Wi-Fi we'll start that up okay so it's connecting uh, yep, yeah, I'll set this up. Okay, so now it's signing into my Google account. <coughs> uh, yes. So now it's just uh, signing in, and it's going to start restoring my address book, my contact, my contacts, my uh, calendar. Okay, so we're back to this page here. Um, I usually take all the stuff off the Google, uh, all the tracking stuff, all the GPS stuff. It just uh, saves battery, so that's why I do it. So setup is complete. Everything's done. So let's pick it up my email. I've got voicemail already. Signal for Wi-Fi. Let's see, let's scroll down. Okay, let's change that. Oh, that's cool. So we got your brightness settings, very nice, hooked up to Rogers, Bluetooth, take that, so you toggle the top right and, and I like that. And usually for this you can uh, you can swipe, actually let's go here first, let's update the stuff. Usually the first thing I do is grab all the updates. Okay, so it's grabbing all my apps right now, so that's going to be a while. So, so you have TouchWiz or... Tre Trebech, I don't know how you say that, or this one. So, will I'll try this one? I usually, you know, as you know from my uh, videos, I am, I usually use uh, Go Launcher EX, but we'll give this a try. Click OK. From my understanding, uh, the transitions you can change on this. Okay, so obviously I'm a rook at this. Uh, let's try that. Okay, swipe. Okay, swipe sideways. Got it. Home. Oh. 
Tools. We'll, go, we'll touch this always. There. Okay, so when you click it as always. All right, so it has these home things here. What obviously when you whatever you click as the home, uh, it'll light up as home like that. So when you click the home button, that'll be your home page. So click home. Okay, so that's for touch words, sorry. Let's try this. Click always there. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this because I don't know this uh, this interface. But so far it seems very smooth. Let's go back just to see. Uh, Let's go settings. Scroll up about Jelly Bam. Okay, so the websites. Okay, so you can add stuff on there about phones. Let's go there. Okay, so AOKP settings, hardware info, and there's the modem that I'm using. Uh, LSC. There's the kernel version, Jelly Bam, and the build number at the bottom. So this is on a Rogers uh, wireless network. This is the GTN 7000 from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So yes, if you guys are wondering, does it work? Yes, it does on the Rogers uh, network. Click there. And if you click that, that clears everything out. Now this is the Note 2, so obviously because it's not TouchWiz, it doesn't have um, all your pen features like your pane, double pane, uh, or multi multi screen and uh, the hover and all that other stuff. So, okay. So when you clear all the apps, you have long hold. You can swipe. I don't see anything where where you can kill all. That I don't like, but oh well. Maybe there'll be uh, somewhere in the settings deep inside where I can change that. Most likely uh, there will be. But as for now, I guess you're just doing this. Yeah, so settings. Profiles, backup, AKPO settings. AOKPO settings, yeah. So most likely a lot of stuff will be in here. So I'll do another video when I got it all tweaked up the way I usually like it. Uh, don't know okay so that doesn't scroll either uh, let's hit the gallery once again because this is not a note 2 uh, ROM a touch which want ROM for a note 2 doesn't have the pen hover on it so click a picture see it doesn't have the hover go back let's see how it does on uh, videos play but it does play everything is good everything runs smooth so far let's see how the browser oh okay so my goal launcher is now there so we'll click this for now and let's see what the launcher is like and usually I click classic to get the desktop version Okay. So there you go. That's uh, my regular routine on installing the uh, any ROM, any new ROM. That's my regular routine on how I do it. Hope you like the video. Next one should be uh, with uh, Jelly Bam and everything all all uh, all installed. So just to show. We're gonna go to um, I'm looking for the file browser here. That I'm not seeing. That's weird. Maybe I gotta look for one. I gotta install one. Oh, I see it. Just to double check. File manager, okay. Oh, okay. 
So if I go out like this, what happens? Cancel. Okay. So this is the internal SD card. We'll go to the external. Okay. Okay, so I was digging around and uh, the general user interface and the, uh, and the settings for the ROM, um, I enabled the 180 degree rotation. Um, it does have an able kill all button status bar. Let's try what happens if we go 55% um, So let's go back there. So now if I hold There's a kill all button instead of having to individually swipe. So I like that That's cool So that's supposed to be more transparent so that's pretty cool. A couple tweaks. Alright, so hopefully you liked the video and uh, I'll come back with another one.